Super Safe, sponsored by TTU K-12. Welcome back. Experts are utilizing a tool commonly used by online predators to stop them and catch them. Chat rooms. It's thanks to a new computer based program that identifies the predators who may be targeting your children. What if you could stop a child predator from ever meeting the child that they're targeting? Well, at Purdue, researchers believe they can do just that. And so the goal again is to um, identify which ones that are a higher risk. Assistant Professor Catherine Siegfried Speller is part of the team behind CAT, the chat analysis triage tool. She says using chat rooms and messages, CAT can identify sex offenders most likely to try and set up face to face meetings with children, filtering them out from those more driven by fantasy and cyber sex. We can flag or triage for law enforcement a higher risk of somebody showing up, then in theory, law enforcement might be able to intervene before a sex offense happens. It uses some natural language processing, something called uh, psycholinguistic analysis, content analysis, and some statistics. Professor Marcus Rogers won't give away exactly how CAT works, but says essentially they're analyzing intention. Working with law enforcement across the country, they used thousands of real conversations between predators and victims, breaking down the language used and the outcomes. How much of a risk is this individual to actually do something bad in the future, in this case, contact a fan? Rogers says one of the biggest benefits of CAT is how quickly and accurately it's able to detect a predator's intentions, displaying the results with a simple gas gauge type model. And the testing we've done, a typical case that might take three months for somebody to come to a decision, is this person at risk, we can do in a matter of seconds. Seconds that could help law enforcement better use resources in the fight against online predators, but most importantly, help save future victims. We can help, um, you know, create a more efficient process and then potentially stop a sex offense from occurring. I think that's the ultimate goal here. Absolutely.